Centre for Migration and Economic Prosperity, uh, Stephen Wolfe. Uh, Stephen, obviously very difficult to get into the, uh, the black economy, but clearly uh, when we're talking about uh, the numbers involved now, this uh, a substantial, um, well, at least tax take that we uh, could be getting from these gangs. Well, it's not just that, uh, Mark. If you look at the overall cost of immigration this year, our censor will show that it's going to cost the British taxpayer around £8 billion. And you, when you think there's a black hole in the economy, this should be one of the really key points for the government to try and control. That is why Suela Braverman is exactly right to mention that there is an invasion, an intrusion of illegal people coming in here for crime. Not only now do we have immigration, we also have criminal aspects to it. So this is essential, both financially and for security of the nation, that we have Suela Braverman acting as a strong Home Secretary to control this issue. However, there is an argument um, raging, we, we understand, within the party, quite rightly, because there are those pointing out that actually migration helps to grow an economy and there are many vacancies in many parts of, of our economy. Well, this argument has been going on for, for decades. It was answered by the Home Affairs Select Committee uh, many, many years ago when they started looking at the question of whether GDP, which is a real measure that the Treasury likes to use and says the more people that you get in, the greater the growth to the country. But there are those who also argue that GNP per capita, that is the amount of wealth an individual has when, the, when you divide the number of people into the country. And that goes down when you're increasing the numbers of people that we have, particularly with mass immigration. And